Hey, so I saw the question pop up about how can we restrict certain parts of a course in Lifter LMS to be to a specific membership level. So in this video, I'll show you how you can put that kind of setup together. So let's say I wanted my last section here, I wanted this lesson to be restricted to members only. Uh, what I could do is open the WordPress editor here, and there's not a specific feature for just restricting this lesson. Um, it kind of This setup sort of makes it so um, people who aren't in the membership can't actually reach 100% course completion uh, unless you were to leave the course mark complete button visible so they could still mark it as complete but they wouldn't see specific content. And that's kind of what I'll show you how to set up here. So if I wanted the content of this lesson to be members only, I would put all of my content right here at the top. So let's say I wanted a paragraph text block. This would be my members only content. and then I would move that up here and I could restrict this to a specific membership. Let me go create a membership real quick here. I don't think I have one on this website, so let me just uh, take a detour here and finish my membership. So this will be membership, um, we'll say members only content. So this will be my members only content membership here. And so now that I have that created, I can restrict any of my blocks here to be members only blocks. So if I were to say this piece of content can only be viewed by enrolled users in a specific membership and that's my members only membership, my members only content. So you can't view the members only content here in the lesson unless you are a member. So we'll see I'm not a member so I can't view that content. Uh, maybe another thing you could do uh, would be to add like an upsell in here. So if I had maybe, um, hey, sign up for my membership. So that would be visible to non-enrolled users in a specific membership here. So if you are not enrolled in this uh, membership, you're going to see this. So I'm not enrolled in the membership, so I see, I'm see i seeing this prompt to sign up for the membership. Um, but if I am enrolled in the membership, let me go enroll myself real quick here. Reload my membership page down here at the bottom. There's my user. I just enrolled myself manually. Of course, you would have a payment uh, for your membership or whatever, but, um, but now I can see the members only content on the lesson because I'm now a member of that uh, specific membership. And what you can do is group entire blocks together in WordPress here. So if you had you know, a bunch of these uh, members only content blocks, you don't have to go through and set up the settings for each of your blocks. You just have to select all three of them and then set your enrollment visibility settings for the group. So I'm gonna group all of these blocks together. So they're now a group and this group is only visible to enrolled users in my membership. Just to make it a little bit faster. So now I view the lesson and I see the members only content since I'm now in the membership, but before I saw the uh, prompt to go sign up for the membership. And you could put a button in there, you could customize this, you may be able to send them to a sales page, whatever you want it to do, but that's how you can kind of break it up. So specific parts of a lesson can be shown to members only and other parts are shown to other students in the course.